Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a bungee cord network. If you guys don't know what bungee cord does or is, uh, basically a bungee cord is a connector to multiple servers. So uh, you can have like three or four different types of game modes all together, all on one server. Uh, so this is connects, uh, it basically just connects all the other servers into one. So it's really helpful. All the big servers do it. All the big servers run like a bungee cord network. So I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and uh, get it running for your server. Be sure to check out this video's sponsor, Sangata. Sangata is a new and unique marketplace where you can find free or paid custom plugins. With the help of continuous user and developer feedback, Sangata is continuously working towards making those ideas a reality. Visit the Sangata marketplace and Discord with the links below. So in order to run a successful bungee cord network, you need at least a bare minimum of three servers. And the reason for that is because you need one server to run bungee cord, because uh, this is going to be the connector to all the other servers. You need one uh, server for your hub. Uh, this will be the hub where you can select uh, the other game modes to go to. And then the, the third server is going to be whatever game mode that you have. So a uh, bare minimum of three servers is necessary. Uh, four is recommended, because uh, that will give you multiple game modes. So, so in this video, instead, since I have the bungee cord server, I have a backup hub, I have a survival game mode, uh, I have the main hub, and then I also have the factions game mode. Uh, so that is what I'm going to be using in this video. So first things first, just a quick note, if you guys are using Revive Node, you can come to the configuration tab and then go to the version tab on the bottom, and then in here you can select bungee cord if you need to run bungee cord, uh, or an additional way is that you can come to serverjars.com and you can go to proxies and then you can get bungee cord right here and then upload it to your file system. Go ahead and start up your bungee cord server uh, and we're going to head over to the configurations because you need to uh, set up the configurations in order for everything to work properly. So once in the config.yml there's three major things that you need to change. The very first thing that you need to change is changing the host IP address. Uh, basically this is uh, recognizing whatever IP address of your bungee cord server you want to put in here. Uh, typically most hosting providers all you really need to change is the port and that is uh, specifically for revive node and probably other ones as well uh, but uh, if it does not recognize the 000, zero, zero uh, then just paste in the whole bungee cord IP so uh, just paste this whole thing in uh, if you if it doesn't recognize the 0.0.0, .0, .0. Uh, but typically most uh, places will have that and you just need to change the port so uh, once we have changed the port the next thing that you need to change is this IP forward uh, to true and uh, the reason for that is because if you do not and you try to IP ban someone on your network uh, everyone will get IP banned uh, because you're looking at the IP of the bungee cord network as a whole and everyone is connected to that same IP so make sure you change this to true because uh, that is a very big thing and then the next thing that we're going to be doing is adding the, the servers uh, so we're going to head and uh, change the servers right here so uh, you can go ahead and name the servers whatever you want so I'm going to call this hub and then uh, you don't really need to worry about the MOTD because you can have plugins uh, take care of that such as server list plus and then uh, the only thing that you really need to worry about is the address. Uh, so to get the address, we're going to go to my main hub right here. All you have to do, copy the IP address of that server, paste it in there, and you're good to go. And then the next thing, uh, just go ahead and backspace all the way, copy it and paste it right here. Change the name. So I'm going to change this to survival and then change this IP address of the survival one. So go ahead and just copy that just like so, paste it in there. And you're pretty much doing the same thing for as many servers as you have. So I have the last one is going to be factions so we'll put factions right there and then we'll do factions IP address and we'll put that in uh, right here and we'll put that in right there all right so a few other things uh, this ping pass through basically is going to be uh, it passes the ping through the servers uh, if you have the force default server right here which I recommend uh, you should leave this default uh, so I'm going to change this force default server to true because uh, force default basically is saying that uh, whenever you join the server you're going to be forcing the default server server and this is where we're going to set the the priorities for my hub so i uh, hope that all makes sense so the hub is going to be the first priority and we're going to be forcing that default server so for example if someone was on the faction server and they logged out uh then when they rejoin they would automatically go to the hub if you set this default then they would join back at the faction server so it just depends on uh, how you want it set up for your server and uh, these priorities you can list different priorities so uh, for example if the hub is down then we can go ahead and send the people to survival 
And then if the survival and hub is down, then we can send people to factions. So that is how you list the priorities uh, if specific uh, different types of servers go down. And then last thing down here is this is where you can add your administrative Bungie Core perms. So all you really have to do is just put your IG in right here. So I'm going to put my in right here. And then here's the group admin. And you can use a Bungie Core luck perms. Uh, I will actually install that in a, in a second. But um, that is how you add yourself to the admin uh, for uh, Bungie Core. And that's pretty much it uh, in the config.yml for Bungie Cord. So once you're done in the Bungie Cord config, you need to go to each and every one of your servers and set up a few different things. Uh, make sure your other servers are running either Spigot or Paper Spigot, or else it will not connect to Bungie Cord properly. So the things that you need to change are in the server.properties, you need to change the online mode uh, to false. So we're going to go to the server.properties, and it's just going to be uh, online mode, and we're just going to change that to false. All right. So go change that to faults and then uh, this is for uh, Bungie Cord being able to recognize the servers. Then you also need to go into the spigot.yml and then we're going to be changing this Bungie Cord uh, to true and this uh, basically uh, this setting allows you to be able to only connect to your Bungie Cord IP. Uh, you cannot use the separate IPs of the other servers uh, because if you leave this defaults then uh, players can connect to the other uh, servers without going through Bungie Cord and that is just a giant mess and people can get hacked that way so make sure you set that to true. Uh, so once that is set to true uh, the last thing that we're going to be doing is in the bucket.yml and this is going to be where we're changing the connection throttle. You're going to change this to negative one because the connection is handled by Bungie Cord. So uh, that is the three things that you need to change on your separate servers so I am in uh, my main hub right here and then the factions and these are the the same three things we need to change I'm going ahead and do that real quick So once you have saved all your settings, you need to go ahead and restart your server in order for the servers to implement those settings that we just saved. So make sure just go ahead and restart every single one of your servers. So after restarting everything, this is what your Bungie Cord sort of look like. You shouldn't have any errors and it should say a listing on whatever port uh, and IP that you have and everything else is loaded successfully. So let's go ahead and uh, we're going to use the IP of our Bungie Cord server and let's go ahead and try connecting. Another thing I want to mention real quick is a lot of people suggest using this IP whitelist plugin on your Bungie Cord server and that, it, that is helpful to have um, because it just adds additional security. But I just wanted to say that when you enable the IP forward in the Bungie Cord as well as per server, uh, you cannot connect to the individual servers and that is basically what IP whitelist does. So you you can have it for additional security. It's not necessarily needed, but it is recommended. Uh, so I just want to show you guys uh, how this works. So here is the IP of my specific survival server that we added to Bungie Cord. So you see IP forwarding is enabled and we can't even connect to that server, uh, which is good. So you have to have IP forwarding enabled uh, for this to work. Uh, if you didn't have it enabled, then play Players could uh, connect to uh, this offline survival server and then they can uh, hack your account uh, because they don't need any authentication. So I just want to mention that real quick for uh, additional purposes, uh, but let's go ahead and jump in game to our Bungie Cord server. Alright, so we just entered our IP into our Minecraft server list and it did come up so uh, that everything is working properly so far. So let's go ahead and join and see if we can go ahead and get to our hub. And there we go, we have made it into our hub server. So if we do a slash G list, uh, that will show you all the servers that are online. So currently we are connected to the hub, and then we also have the factions and survival. So uh, this plugin right here, Deluxe Hub, is uh, on my hub server. So if you guys want to check out my showcase of Deluxe Hub, I will leave that link on the top right hand corner. You guys can go check out that video. But uh, it has a built in server selector right here, and it already is uh, pre made with factions and survival for a bunch of core network, and that's perfect because that is the game modes that we have. So let's go ahead and connect two factions and uh, there we go as you see we are connected to my faction server so uh, if we do like f help uh, here's all like the factions plugins that we have so uh, then you can go ahead and like uh, claim a faction 
we can check the F map and we just claimed a little chunk right here. So <laughs> that's pretty awesome. So uh, this is my faction server. So now if we do slash server, we can also connect to the other one. So we can go back to hub. We are currently on the factions and then we can go to survival. And this will take me to my survival server that we just set up. And now we are in survival and we can go ahead and play uh, the survival game mode. And just like that, we have our own bungee cord network. So that is working very well. So that wraps up my showcase of how to set up bungee cord. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you have any questions uh, or comments for me, leave them down below or you can come join my discord. So I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.